guys, Assalamu Alaikum. This is Firdaus Nurain with you and once again I would like to thank the Emirates Culinary Guild for this excellent opportunity as well as the US Polytary Egg Export Council for this excellent opportunity. Uh, today I'll be sharing how to make chicken mandi. It's a very very traditional recipe of Middle East. I'm sure everybody is aware about the mandi, how is it made. So this is a, you know, a beautiful flavor of chicken which is infused in the rice. So I'm going to show you how to make the mandi along with the mandi rice. And this is going to be super super delicious recipe. I hope you all like it and let's start with the recipe. So here you go guys, let's start with the recipe. So if you don't have a steamer, I'm be showing how you can, uh, you know, convert your pot into a steamer and collect the broth below it. So you can use that broth for cooking in the mandi rice. And here I'm using the US chicken and I'm going to use it with the skin. Let's start. Starting ahead, I have 1 kg of chicken which is cleaned with skin and to this we will be adding in ginger garlic paste with cinnamon and nutmeg powder. If you don't have, you can add uh, uh, garam masala and here I am adding paprika powder with cumin, coriander, turmeric, red chilli powder and salt. If you don't have paprika powder, you can again add just the red chilli powder. Now add some yogurt and ghee to it and just marinate this chicken and leave this for about 30 minutes. Uh, before you steam now for the steamer I have taken the same pot in which I'm going to cook my rice so in this pot I'll be adding in around four cups of water because I am using two cups of rice so four cups of water to it and I'm going to use a food holder a food pot holder I'm going to just place that ring and add few whole garam masalas along with saffron strand and place the strainer this is a strainer which I use so in this strainer I'm just going to place in the chicken skin facing in the downside because the water it Tension, the water content is more from the skin so I want the flavor of the skin especially now this will take minimum 20 to 30 minutes for the steam meanwhile I'm going to soak my rice this so two cups of rice have to be soaked moving on for the salsa we will be needing in uh, tomatoes of course uh, garlic onion green chili mint coriander leaves and some lemon first I'm going to blend my onions with uh, uh, garlic and green chili and then once they are coated Closely grinded, I'll add tomatoes and blend into a fine puree. As you can see, the puree is ready and it looks amazing. Now I'm just going to chop it finely, the mint, the coriander leaves, and add the lemon with some salt and mix it. And there you go, my delicious salsa is ready for a mandi. <laughs> okay now quickly let me show you what's happening with the chicken the chicken is steamed and it's been 30 minutes after 30 minutes i'm just going to flip them and again steam this for about 10 to 15 minutes and after 10 to 15 minutes it's going to be ready now let me just show you in a bowl i'm just adding one tablespoon of ghee with some food color so when the chicken is out i'm just going to brush them up and just slightly fry them in the pan now it's been 15 minutes, I'm remo removing in the chicken, you can check the broth is collected. Uh, you should ensure that broth which is collected is just right for your rice. If you're not sure, please measure with the cup and add the remaining water which is required along with some chopped onions and uh, garlics with few chopped mint and coriander leaves and few green chilies because they will give a good flavor to your rice. And you can add the rice once the water begins to boil. Drain the water nicely and then add it to it. Now this on a medium flame needs to be cooked. Here I'm just uh, you know burning a charcoal to give a charcoal flavor to my rice. As I told you I'm applying the ghee uh, food color which I prepared to the chicken pieces. And check on the rice see it's beautiful now. To this what we are going to do is in a cup or a holder where you can keep the, uh, in the rice just put some ghee in it like one teaspoon or one tablespoon of ghee and the charcoal which is burnt you'll just place it on top and immediately close the lid and let this you know uh, get infused with the rice the flavor of charcoal get infused with the rice and it should be in a very very medium flame here in a pan i'm adding oil and i'm just crisp I'm just trying to fry my chicken until they are just crispy from outside that's it because they are already wonderfully cooked from inside so this need to turn out crispy from out and there you go the chicken is ready it's been 15 to 20 minutes now my mandi is ready you cannot believe my chick my kitchen is fully filled with aroma and it's beautiful <laughs> there you go 
you can see each and every grain is falling separately from each other and it's beautiful feeling that you have made a perfect mandi at home you should definitely try us chicken it's amazing the tenderness in the chicken is just right for the mandi recipe so do give this a try and once again thank you to the emirates culinary guild as well as us polity egg export council for this excellent opportunity so thank you guys